Welcome to this week's video cast. Got a lot to share with you. As you know, at the bottom of the screen, you got rolls scrolling back here. Our, our salute to champions, tons of tournament champions last weekend. I'm going to talk about a handful of teams that stood out to me uh, as uh, winners this weekend. Uh, Halleck from District 16 Squirt B team won a tournament up in Duluth last weekend. Congratulations to them. Same tournament, the Dyna Squirt A white team won a A tournament, the A tournament up in Duluth. Uh, shout out to them. Congratulations to Jason Williams and Scott Bell and their team. Congratulations on a nice tournament win there. Um, also a shout out to North Metro. They won the Woodbury Rumble Bantam B tournament. And finally, uh, another Bantam B team, Stillwater Black won the uh, Barn Burner Classic up in Cloquet last weekend. Lots of champions at the bottom of the screen. Uh, check them all out. Um, let's get to our sponsors for the week. Uh, same sponsors as last weekend. We have Walzer as our, as our chief sponsor on the site these days. Uh, thanks to those people at Walzer. We've learned a lot about cars, whether it be new cars, used cars, um, and obviously service over at Walzer. It's been a great partnership with them. They've been sponsoring a a uh, special each month. Look for a new special, special to be coming out in February or maybe tomorrow on the site or as soon as Sunday on the site. So uh, check out that sponsor. The other sponsor we have to talk about today is Hattrick Hockey. We talked a little bit about them last week. Here's my daughter's jersey from their three-on-three -three league. Bill Dahl, the owner over there, was really excited about our site. He coaches a team over in Edina as well as uh, has a uh, son that plays a couple other kids that play in Edina as well. Um, he's got a great three-on-three -three facility over in St. Louis Park. Uh, check it out um, for if you're looking for a three-on-three -three experience and you live over on the western side of uh, the metro area or up north. I know a guy, a friend of mine, he's from St. Cloud. His, he, had, he sent a team down that played down in uh, the league as well. So it doesn't just need to be a metro team or west metro team, but uh, if you're looking for a great three-on-three -three experience with no weekend games uh, all spring and summer and or into the early fall, check out the Hattrick Hockey uh, site uh, at Hattrick Hockey's website, or you can get to it by clicking on one of the ads on our site. Uh, let's get quickly to a shout out to uh, three different situations here. If number one uh, is the Dino White U12 team. That's the second 16, 15 skaters from the U12 uh, Edina crop of girls. They defeated the first 15, the Edina Green team this week. Uh, huge shout out to them. I bet that was an exciting moment for that team. Uh, congratulations to the coaches and the players and the, and the fans of the U, uh, U12 white team from Edina. Uh, next, I want to give another shout out to uh, Edina, uh, excuse me, uh, all of the teams that came out to our sandwich making event that supported the sandwich project. Uh, there were 36 teams that made 5,000 sandwiches. Uh, and the teams came from all over. There was Woodbury, Cottage Grove, Osseo Maple Grove, Eastview. Obviously, a lot of the ones close, it was done in Edina. So there was lots of Edina, Minnetonka, Chaska Chan, Bloomington, uh, three teams from Jefferson. Uh, it was great. Uh, there was a good little story. Kennedy and Jefferson squirt A's made them together, and then they went out to lunch afterwards. That's uh, so much for the uh, rivalry over in Bloomington between Kennedy and Jefferson. So uh, that was a cool story as well. Uh, lastly, I want to shout out to uh, KFN. They've had me on the station the last two Saturdays. Uh, we really appreciate the publicity, and uh, it's been fun running into people around the rink and hearing about what they want, want me to talk about next week on the show. And hopefully we'll be back on again uh, this weekend and in the future with the Beyond the Pond show at KFM. Now I got my other little, I got my happy face here for the, the shout out and I got my sad face here for the regional seeds in Minnesota hockey. We've gotten two outstanding letters to the editor. One was from a, a guy whose kid was playing in the South region looking at how uh, unbalanced the South region was and it kind of went into some details about how there might be some uh, foul odors coming out of the, some of the district championship and district third place games. It was a good little read. I liked it. I posted it on our site. And then we got one from a guy from Bemidji. It was awesome. Uh, he was kind of a north. It was very, it was in response to that, but I don't really think it was in, it was a fair response to that because I don't think he was talking about Metro or not Metro. But his response, the guy from Bemidji's response was outstanding. It was an outstate versus Metro post. We posted it up there. Um, 
and I really liked it. It was both of them were very passionate, very, very good, to the, good, very to the point of letters to the editor. And I really appreciate them. Check those out. Um, it's just a really tough thing, the double A with all the seeds going back in um, and the single A uh, teams uh, not playing now with the double A's. It's been a really goofy situation, lots of weird seeding issues. Uh, check out both of those stories. It's a, been a tough situation for Minnesota hockey. I know uh, talking to John Perry uh, from Minnesota hockey, it's not easy for him to put this thing together. So give John a break, uh, let this thing play itself out and Hopefully we can get the eight best teams in the state uh, at all levels, not just the Pee Wees and Bantam Double A's. Have a good week. We appreciate the viewing uh, and we appreciate uh, the following of our site. Take care.